with some rice and finish off with some chips. Well, after a late start, two breakfasts, you strap the world on your back and head into Edale. After an exhausting 100 yards walk, <laughs> we might just have to pop in the pub just to keep our liquid levels up. What do you reckon? Is that a good decision? Maisie, do you want to go to pub? Go pub. <laughs> okay. So the plan is we will finish the beer. Make sure it's okay. Do we need to have another one just in case it's not right? <laughs> and we'll walk up the hill, find an appropriate place to put the tents up, have a siesta, wake up. Cook a ration pack, have a coffee, I brought some whiskey, get some good photographs of the stars and see what happens from there. ridge there Whew, we've been pushing it a bit so from the pub to this point we've done it in 25 minutes which is quite good some good going I am using my tracking poles today just to give me a bit of traction and support for wearing the rucksack but uh, the cloud as you've just seen is just starting to come down but it's still beautiful I'm just hoping it's going to be a clear sky tonight Wait for tonight. And this is the view behind us. Tonight, what we got? Chickpea curry. 
chickpea, onions and potatoes in a spicy curry sauce. Look at that for a view, out your tent. And to go with it, plain rice. They're really easy to cook these. You just um, get your jet boil, put the pack in first, put some water in, bring it to the boil, cook it for about 10 minutes and eat it out of the packet. And in my tent, that's that lantern I did a review on recently, and that's on its lowest setting. It's absolutely brilliant. It's come into the boil. Still got that beautiful sunset out there. I don't know if you can see that, but there's my curry. Very nice. Just had a right good feed, curry and rice. I've got a pudding, but I'm a bit full at the moment. And a cup of coffee. It's out the wind in here and it's lovely and warm really. I'm well wrapped up as well. I'm just laid on top of my sleeping bag and therma rest. And we've still got a bit of sunset left. Not a bad view, just straight outside my tent. What else would you do when you can't have a look at the stars because it's too cloudy and blowing a gale and you're in your tent on top of a mountain? Of course you'd watch Brock. Here is that, little fella. One of the channels I'm talking about and it's fanned like, obviously, with Betty Boondocker. Woo, we know them don't we? Yes, it's a good watch. Um, it's a good, it's a really good channel to be honest with you. It's uh, um, just a family who are just going off grid in their van. And, uh, YouTube no, in a tent it, on a mountain. No more do you need. Now move to on to watch a bit of Athena Moon. I've also been watching Brendan and Pippa from Worms Eye View. They've been to a Christmas fete. Now a bit of Desmond Donders. I normally watch this in the morning, it's usually my breakfast TV. I want to tread the globe now. These two are great, they're travelling, they have an ambition to uh, travel every country in Europe and give up the job, bought a camper van and travelling around. On to Frankie and Erica, this is Lost Boys Looking. Lost Boy Looking. Ooh. And the weather's come up for tomorrow. Which makes me think of like... They're currently travelling around the world, they're in New Zealand in a camper van and showing all the sights. Real good channel. Now on to houseless, not homeless. He had a major problem with his van here. The garage was supposed to do some welding and the, uh, it went back for an MOT retest and the welding was just a major bog. I did, I did offer to do some welding for him but by the time the video had come live he'd actually got it sorted. Bit of good old Kev, the wandering Womble. He's a good lad. Can't drink much though. <laughs> you alright Kev? How are you doing mate? This is Shavanigans. He's got David on there from Cruising the Cup but he's just visited. Shavanigans is uh, converting a Mercedes Sprinter van. 
and David come to visit him after a convert in his own van. He lives in the Gower Peninsula, so uh, it's a beautiful area. Shavanagins. There you go. Shavanagins. I told you it was a long night, we're now on to Camper Van Til's. <laughs> Keith and Darrell, with their two border collies. This video is when they've come sailing with us. Great video, they've just done a trip around Scotland, so those videos will be coming up soon. They did the NC500 and their converted ambulance. This is Joy Stewart's channel. She's a lovely, lovely American woman. She does these uh, short videos of pearls of wisdom. But she's just adorable. She's got such a good outlook on life. She's currently in a supermarket or something now. Check her out, she's really good. This is Gadget John's channel. This is well worth a look. He's currently got a competition um, running until the end of the month where he can win 600 quid's now, worth of gadgets. There he is. Like we had a great weekend with and him and his wife bigger. Mandy and, and Mebby up in North Yorkshire yeah. recently. Uh, it's packaged but you can see on the side there it actually pops out to give so Gadget John's base. channel, need to check that out. On to a bit of Billy Sherrett now. Right, I'm in the part of Wales. He's a good lad even though he's off from Lancashire. Camper van trips, out on his motorbike, lots of places in Europe. And he likes to look at uh, memorial sites and ex-war sites. a very cold and windy night to get up at uh, half past five to see the start of the sunrise and follow it all the way through absolutely amazing it's freezing cold out there and it really is a blowing a gale I don't know what the video footage will come out like it's struggling to hold the camera still I couldn't use a little tripod on the GoPro because it just got blowing over what an amazing morning all that cloud formation and everything else brilliant back in the tent now just trying to warm my hands up gonna have a coffee stupidly I forgot my bloody gloves this is the view outside the tent now not a bad way to start the day is it now Pete has a habit of flying tents no pressure Pete it's got to be wind chill man as or something in it. It's a bit nippy.
Maisie. Have you had a good night, girl? Hey, hey. <laughs> Bloody freezing. Can't see a lot either. <laughs> oh, good fun. To the, the pub. The to the pub. Well, it's considerably warmer and sunnier. It is a bit. Now we've got, got a sweat on. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to take a layer off. <laughs> Legendary Grindleford Cafe for a chip butty and a coffee. Grindleford Old Station is well known for its chip butties. You can have a pint of tea and a chip butty. I've gone for half a pint of coffee and a chip butty. So we need to do the chip test. Mm, quite crispy. I'd say that's a good seven. So the cap chip score for this one is seven out of ten. What do you reckon? Want to try one? Come on, I'll try one. Mm. Nice and crisp, soft inside. Mm. I'd say 7.5. 7 and a half. Pete's gone for a grindle for breakfast. What are you having? Awesome. Well deserved after last night and this yeah. morning. Oh, good bacon as well. Happy <laughs> days. enough beans there. I hope they're not going to take effect until you get out of my car. No guarantees. Mm.